Also, you know, bathrooms are over here. You can say. Okay. And next to it is like where you can change. Uh, all right. So this is uh, the sofa. And so, like I, to I men mentioned earlier, you know, we have the two lines. We have the the baby line, which is this going to be, and that the uh, flat cave. Okay. So what we're going to do is on the first time we go in on the third line here and follow along the line. Uh, like I mentioned, the barbie is about here, which is approximately the halfway through. So okay. once, if we if we are good on air and we pass this, you know, you have still two thousand or whatever. But I think it was right. three thousand you had in there. Uh -huh. um, we just continue. Should okay. you should you get low on air, which means not Before low on air, but reach. if you have used your first third, you know, we would turn around and okay. we would come back. Huh? All right. Okay. So and that goes for both uh, for both dives. This one is about. 40-45 minutes. Um, the butt cave is a little shorter, generally in the 30-35 minutes, but what we are trying to do is we're going in and this is where the dome is. So we go in and then we try to surface and so you can see uh, Very some neat. of the bats mm -hmm. flying around there and uh, the formations. And uh, and so and then we continue. This is the one which is darker. The first one you see because we're going a lot along of the opening, so you're going to right. have a lot of, of light. And I hope that kind of brings you in the mood and uh, gives you already an idea. This one is darker. Now, because now they have the things here. So like what we're going to do is we are f we are diving the line. We are not. You don't have to be right over it. You go a little bit on the side. The bends is very low. There's not much traffic, but you know, in busy times, you know, there's like and people have to right. have to turn around. Right. So you know, we give a side or we we let them pass, and then if there's if, if it would be too uh, narrow, but we do not have any tight spaces. Okay, we cannot take you anywhere where we would not be able to swim next to each other or on top of each other. Right. Okay? Right. So everything is going to be very very big and open. Right. Alright, okay. uh, what we do is we swim behind each other, give it a good like, you know, like, a, you know, a little distance, um, you know, always think if you have a problem on air, how far can I swim to reach me, okay? So that's, I would guess, like, right. you know, one and a half, two meters, that's right. fine, what, whatever you feel comfortable. Try not to fall too far behind, if for whatever reason you want to... Do you take picture underwater? We're going to take some pictures, okay. yes. But, then, no, but we're not going to hold anything up. No, no, it's going to be no, video. No, no. It's so. not a question. Contrary, it's not a problem to hold me up. I just need to know because this way when I see, you know, I uh, I kind of make it slower. So this way, or I wait for you right. until you have I won't. I won't stop. Yeah. So I'm not going to do that. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just no, going to take video not, as we go. It's not for holding me up. Or it's just so that I know because then I pay more attention to give you more time so that you can... Huh? Right. So uh, this is it. Well, like I said, you know, of course, formations. We try not to put in in love or whatever. My, you know, the heart. Right. You know, and the oh, okay. thing. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, you can't. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, you know, well, of course, we are just two. But uh, you know, the rule is here in in, in cavern diving, we cannot pick more as four. So if ever you dive somewhere else never accept to be more than I mean the guide plus four. Guide and so, four. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the general rule that's all over the world, huh? So don't if you would go anywhere, refuse of going in this time, Okay. You know, all huh? right. So it's normally that, then of course no knives. No glove. We don't want to have people uh, to have gloves. I do sometimes but I cut my thing because I have problems with my hands. I'm getting this one, you know, I have protection mm -hmm. on my skin. But uh, you, it's just because we don't want people to touch. Right, right. Okay. Right. Because even, I mean, you will, it's, it's not a big deal. You will even see me that I might even hold on on something, like very lightly or some. So it's not that. But, you know, there are people, you know, they would crop. I would do it on a place where I know this is like rock or something and I just really. But we don't want people to pull on the stalactites right, or something. Right. It's still. Uh, getting a lot of damage and then of course what's very important is the buoyancy control right. it's different than in the ocean as well we want you to be as horizontal as you can and if possible try not to kick but have your legs up and you will see like the, the frog yeah. kicks okay it's a little bit awkward because you're not used to it it doesn't we're, matter we're very used but to the you know okay so gotcha but, that's so, how we move yeah so that's, that's good, good. 
because you will see you know this one has not that really thin sediments but there are places uh, and especially last time we had just a couple of people ahead of us and visibility for us was really bad yeah. you know people don't realize and when they do this even if they're not that close to the corner but the sediment is right. there just and it poofs up. just comes up yes so but we try as last and then like i have explained this we do the, the rule of thirds which is going by cave diving so we go in with a third we come back with a third so you should uh, okay. have one third left as a reserve and that would be for the emergency and yeah here while well, the horizontal i just mentioned <coughs> turn around yeah of course you know i, I don't sh i think we see a sign that would be where the cave starts so you would not be that you will be surprised i mean there are accidents stupid because people get off the lines and, right uh, because oh you know i know where i am <laughs> and uh yeah well uh if it would be night you are not allowed to dive in the night because then it would be the sun is your is your additional light okay so that's okay. why it's the cavern it's because there is some light penetrating right. if it would be dark it would be considered actually to be a cave right if you would go in there uh, sorry. look at it but they are not um, you know pushing or anything but it's actually pretty nice they, have, like, uh, um, they take a couple of shots and then they give a cd with other additional pictures taken from the in there. Mm -hmm. but i can't remember what, what uh, mm. wow so <laughs> Snorkelers coming as you can see. Mm -hmm. You can. We recommend people sometimes to take a guide. You know, it's like 400 meters. Uh, they know all the nice passages. You know, because if you do it on your own, you don't really know. So what we're going to do? We have two options. Uh, it's very deep here, so you can do a giant stride in there. You know, mm -hmm. to inflate a little bit your your PCD and just step into it. Or you can go down the steps. This is what I'm going to do because with my Right. Thing sometimes you know I just finish everything on the bench there, but it's really okay. safely safe here. It's deep enough, so no problem. Huh? Okay. Um, because there are some where you don't want to do it because it looks deep, but because it's so crystal clear, you know. Right. Sometimes <laughs> they push. No, I mean it's really people sometimes yeah. they can, but here no problem at all. So what we're going to do is the lines are about here, so I think the third line still counted, but I think it's about here. You can, you can see the marker there. Right. So, um, so that's what's going to be. Then once we are in, you know, we just make sure that you can go down. Huh? Okay, right. Uh, because in case if this is the option, I find a stone still. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other day it worked. <laughs> and then on the second one, I like, yeah. They're not very heavy, you know, the limestone is very uh -huh. 